Happy New Year! Come on, let's go! Come on! Outside! There's all fireworks! Hello everybody, it is Saturday, New Year's Day, and it is 23 degrees out. So tonight, the wind chill factor is gonna be between negative five and negative seven, and this hit really quickly. I didn't know it was gonna hit so quickly today, but it's okay, we're okay. It's time to do something different with the goats and the birds, and right now, I am about to walk into the greenhouse, see what the temp is in there, and I brought my truck over, because I'm gonna take everything from the greenhouse and bring it over to the house. Whew. So, it is 30 degrees in here. And my plants are cold hardy. Not quite sure on the peas. I know that the Swiss chard and radishes and things like that are gonna be okay. But I do wanna get these over into the house. I'm just gonna put them in the garage. Our house shop is insulated, so it never generally gets past about 50, um, so they'll be okay. So let me get these loaded up. Okay, it is way too cold to be out here without a coat. I thought I'd stay warm, but my fingers are actually feeling like there's ice on them. So let's get those plants inside get a coat on and then come out and make sure that the goats are okay. I am gonna take Sorsha into the barn. She could have a baby or two any day now. And you know, just like what happened over at Narraway's farm, their goat waited till the coldest day in the year, this year, but the coldest day since last February to have twin babies. And I'm praying that those two little boys will do okay because I know that Brittany's trying to help them right now and keep them warm and they're in the house. So I do want to put Sorsha up to make sure that she's going to be just fine. And this is just for tonight because the next four days are like in the 50s. So it's just a really weird cold front. All right, we got the plants in here. Oh, finally it decides to work and it's snowing out. Yay! It's starting to snow. It looks gross out there. You can see that the storm front's coming in. All oh, the clouds. Let's get my car in the garage. Let's make a fire real quick so we can get the fire going and make sure that the house is really, really warm. Um, I'm going to keep this going all day today, all night, and into tomorrow. Just to give the heating system a little bit of help since it's going to be so, so cold. Now it's time to get ready for the cold tundra. It's time to get out the heavy coat, maybe even a scarf, because it's like 23 degrees out. So let me get that on. I can't find a scarf, but it's okay. Because this zips up and it has a hood, so 
we should be good. Do not forget any kind of lip protectant. This right here is from Boots and Bounty Homestead. She makes all kinds of wonderful medicinal things. So I'll just put some of the salve on. Now I'm ready to go out. So main goal is to get all the chickens together so they can all be in one coop. And then to get Sorsha into a secured area inside. Look at this, you guys. Preston and Parker did this yesterday. <laughs> they knew the storm was coming, so they brought some of this in. This is how we do it in the winter. We bring the wood in so it doesn't ever get wet or rained on or anything like that. And now I just gotta find my gloves. I'm not locating them. They might be in the barn. Maybe we'll just do this for now. No, it's not that cold. <laughs> it's not that bad, but the wind is pretty terrible. My hands and my body are kind of sweaty right now from being inside. So the fire's getting started. It's gonna get a blaze. We're gonna come out here. It rained most of the evening. Um, there, protecting the animals. Bonnie is inside. She's been with the goats. She's been sleeping with them the last few days. The turkeys have a hut to get out of the wind. The cows, unfortunately, do not yet because they decided to move from the 17-acre paddock with a lean-to and all the comfortable ways of living and busted through the fence and went over to the buck pen. And the buck pen does not have shelter for them. But there's no way to move the cows right now. They're wild and crazy. Let's start with some of the chickens, get them moved over to the other chicken coop. I do have them separated for breeding, but that's not important right now. What's important is keeping them all warm, put their water and their food in there, and everybody's going to be okay. This is the morphing tins. I'm going to take them and put them over to the gen pop. I'm going to leave the gen pop out, so it'll give me an opportunity to put them in without them trying to come out, and also to get water and an extension cord for a crock pot to keep the water warm. into my shop or the barn has what the kids call it and I'm just gonna check the temperature in here it is 32 to 34 degrees in here you can see it right there I know that these quail are gonna be just fine they're all full grown they're all big they're out of the elements so they're gonna be just fine I do have these chicks down here they have a heating plate they are fully feathered so they should be okay out here and then I have some baby quail I don't know if you can see them right there. Fully feathered, about three weeks. So they got about three more weeks before they lay. But they have their heating lamp. It's a mess out here. Out here. That's what happens when you have to go to work every day. Um, and here's Saturday, it's time to clean it up, but there's so much other stuff to do right now. So it'll have to wait till tomorrow. They're heated. The radiant heat will help the quail just a little bit. So everybody in the barn is okay. We'll make sure to give them extra vitamins in their water today and fill them up and suck them up with extra food and extra treats. I wanted to show you what I gave the chickens earlier. So I gave all natural scratch. This is 16% poultry feed. The so goats go, they get this top quality goat pee. This is all from Big B. And every day they get the sweet licks goat milk. The baby chicks and the quail, they get 30% game bird protein. And I mix it with wild bird food. And then this is for Louie and Big Mac. It's called Williams Blend. So this is what the steers get. That leads us to the goats. So the goats are, well, they're here. Hi, strawberries. Beautiful girl. Here's Sorsha. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Okay, so this is the one that I want to take inside. They have 
have this enclosure. They're gonna have plenty of hay, food, and water, and then they can snuggle together and stay warm. They are out of the elements as far as like the snow and rain, and they're out of the wind. for her and then get her water and her food and then I've got to catch her and get her in here so that's gonna be fun I had a bear I had to dig down to the very bottom just to try to get some dry hay she's getting some top quality goat feed that's what I feed them in the winter and then next is another crock pot so will her water be cold and icy here no that won't happen but I want her to have nice warm water. If you can't find these, they're really inexpensive on the holidays. Go to Goodwill or Salvation Army. You can pick them up for a couple bucks. That looks so much better. So, she'll have tons of hay. I'll close her in, and at least I know the babies will be warm from her body heat, and also they will have warm water. So now I've gotta to try to get Sorsha in here. Hi, Sorsha! Sorsha! Come on, Sorsha! Come on, Sorsha! Come on! Come on! Come on! That was easy. That was so easy. Sorsha! Sorsha, look. Sorsha! Sorsha, look! That's yours. That's yours. Sorsha! Come on, baby! Sorsha's taken care of. Everybody else I know is gonna be fine. Here's Donkey. Yeah. Everybody else is over here. We made this little area for them the other day whenever we were trying to get the cows back over and that just didn't work. Here they are. Hi guys. Hi. Yep, their water already has ice. Outside. Sorry, it's foggy um, condensation, but it is actually wind chill factor of six right now. And I'm gonna come in and boil some water and check on that fire that's not existent now because I was out there way too long and get that fire going again and go back out. And this is gonna be my routine is every hour or so boil water, bring it out to them, check on them, and pray for the best. I am ready with the hot water and go get this to the animals. As you can see, it's snowing. And I think with the wind chill right now, it is one degrees. One degree right now, that's crazy. So let's get this 
warm now, probably not hot water, out to the barn. Just check on everybody. First one down, many more to go. Ooh, it's hot on the bottom. Very hot. Let's go give the rest of the warm water to the donkey and the goats. And it's really dark out and the wind is blowing terribly. So I can't really bring the camera. Well, that went good. I put their water in a bucket underneath the lean-to and they all kind of had a sip. I think it's a little too hot for them, but they all kind of came up, smelled it, some had a sip and they were good. So I think we're good in here. Sorsha looks good. Sorsha. I know. And the chickens are up, the turkeys are up, the cows and pigs are asleep and all the goats were underneath the lean-to in the hay. So I think everybody's good to go. I am gonna have to go sit by that fire because it is so cold. Be careful, it's all ice. Come on, bear. Whew. It is windy and cold and icy. Come on, bear. Good boy, come on. Look at the house windows. Isn't that crazy? They're all frozen. Okay, I am in, I am by the fire. My hands actually hurt, the tips of my fingers hurt. And I did have gloves, but just going out there and it's very, very cold. But I'm gonna set my alarm throughout the night and go out and bring them warm water and check on all of them and make sure that they are okay. I wanna tell you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy, happy new year. 2022, I hope is gonna be a really great year. I hope that all of us have good health and good fortune and make good decisions and get back on track. Ooh, that burned my arm. Hope you have a wonderful new year. Hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.